Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the second worksheet where we're looking at popular questions for this year's GCSE. You can download the worksheet from 3 Minute Math. So I'm going to be working through each of the five questions on separate videos, so please do check out the playlist. Okay, so question number one, calculate the formula for the nth term of the following sequence. Well, the important thing with this is that you recognize that it is a quadratic sequence. So in terms of the uh, difference, the first common difference is going to be minus 4 minus 6 minus 8 and then I've got the second difference which is going to be minus 2 minus 2 and so on. Okay now there are a couple of different ways of doing this. The easiest way I think is to recognize that because it's a quadratic then we need to put it in the form of a n squared plus b n plus c. So therefore our job really is to find the values of a, b and c. And the formulas are that the bottom value here is the value of 2a. So therefore if 2a equals minus 2 then a must equal minus 1 and that's our first value. Okay so to find the second value we've got this second line here which is equal to 3a plus b. So therefore I've got a formula 3a plus b equals minus 4. And then really it's just a case of taking the information that I've got for the value of a. So 3 times minus 1 plus b equals minus 4. So I've got therefore minus 3 plus b equals minus 4 and therefore b must be equal to minus 1 again. So therefore I've now got my second value which is going to be minus 1. The third value is going to come about by the final formula which is a plus b plus c and that equals 19. So it's actually if we go back to our original it's a plus b plus c and that equals 19. And I've got my value of a which is minus 1. I've got my value of b which is also minus 1 and then I need to find out c. Okay so minus 1 plus minus 1 is going to equal to minus 2 plus c is equal to 19 so therefore c must be equal to 21 so this final value here is going to be 21. So in terms of the actual nth formula um, I could write that if I wanted to as minus 1 n squared plus minus 1 n plus 21 but it's just a little bit clumsy to do that so I'd write it without the ones and obviously without the plus and the minus in the middle there so I'm going to write this as minus n squared minus n plus 21 and that would be the answer to that particular question. Okay so in part b of the question I need to take this value of 10 and I'm going to put it directly into the nth term sequence so I've got minus and then n is going to be 10 and that's going to be squared minus 10 plus 21. And then really it's just a case of working this out but be very careful because we've got to use bid mass. Okay so therefore what we're looking at is going to be 10 squared which is going to be 100 but then I have a minus in front of it so it's going to be minus 100 minus 10 plus 21 and that's going to give us a value then of minus 18. So the tenth term in this particular sequence will be minus 89. Okay hope that was useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I do have a worksheet and a series of walkthrough videos on this particular question. If you let me know in the comments I'll uh, send you through the link. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.